there's nothing you can do about it because you're trapped inside heavenly album covers. I've spent the last couple of days sorting through old um, records that are kind of heading for the bus stop. Sometimes when I have a bunch of um, records I don't want, I just put them in a bag and leave them on a bus stop somewhere and hope that someone will find them. So here's a bunch of records that are probably heading towards the bus stop. Here's uh, Aretha Franklin, Amazing Grace. It only has one record and the actual cover and everything is kind of beat up. Whoops, Liberace. Strangers in the Night. Nice cover. It's still in the shrink wrap. I actually may keep this one. I don't know what this album is. It looks like it used to be a library album because of the card down here. Um, looks like a picture of the Grand Canyon. Here's an album by Marlo Thomas and her friends, a kid's record. This one's in almost every record store and um, record bin. It's called uh, Free to Be You and Me. Very playful. Andy Gibb, Shadow Dancing, which is a really good single, but I don't really need this record. I'm not sure what this is. It's It's got a gatefold and um, film music, I suppose. Here's an album by Ray Conniff. Looks like Ray does a bunch of uh, songs and covers. Here is some music by um, Montavani. There's a nice couple there. They're going out on a date. But I don't think I need this album. Next up is Puff the Magic Dragon on Happy Time Records. It's a, it's a funny um, cover illustration. Now this next one, I think I have another copy that's in um, total shrink wrap. I think it's great because how often do you see a, a album cover like this? There's two kids down here in the water and I think this is uh, called Sounds of the Sea by Norman Luboff. Here's a record that a, a relative gave me and um, I haven't listened to it. Um, and I'm sure it's a great record but um, I don't really have room for it right now. Here's Doug Kershaw. He was a multi-instrumentalist and uh, mostly a, uh, known for his uh, fiddle playing. The cover is not my style. This one can definitely go. Neil Diamond, Jonathan Livingston Seagull. This one is uh, omnipresent in uh, record bins. Here's uh, someone named Russ Ballard. Um, not exactly sure who Russ Ballard is. I think he has connections with um, Leo Sayre or Argent. Here's the Michael Parks album, which is also um, fairly common in record bins. Michael Parks was on a TV show back in the 1930s. Here's uh, John Denver. I have nothing against John Denver, but I really don't um, have to have this album in my collection. Next up is Charlie Rich. I probably like Charlie Rich, but I, I'm too impatient to listen to an entire Charlie Rich album. Here's more Neil Diamond. It's halfway inside the shrink wrap. And we got one more Neil Diamond album. These two can, can go. Here's a Percy Faith album. 
it's a nice cover. This guy looks a little bit um, hesitant. And uh, she looks like uh, she's had too much fentanyl. And finally we have uh, Barbara Streisand. It's called Wet. It's a complete album which I would never listen to in a thousand years. But um, those are the records that are probably heading to the bus stop for someone else to enjoy. Hey, it's Donna Summer and Barbara Streisand.